Alrighty, let's get to the buzz. A suspected drug dealer cooks up controversy mm -hmm. over cookies, cops, and contraband. Sounds interesting. And today, Seth Phillips joining us to discuss that more in the buzz. Well, what up, Seth? Glad to have that tease right there yeah. for uh, my, my day on the buzz. That's yeah. right. That sounds yeah, here interesting. Here he is. Okay, so here's <laughs> the rest of the story. Dietrich McGowan posed for a photo with two Girl Scouts in Greenville, South Carolina. Very sweet story. Here's the photo. He had just bought $540 worth of Girl Scout cookies so those sweet little girls wouldn't have to stand out in the coals anymore selling cookies. Well, the photo was posted online, quickly went viral. Well, on Tuesday, the very same day the story came out, it took a turn because McGowan was arrested on federal drug charges. He, along with 10 other people, are accused of conspiring to manufacture heroin, cocaine, and fentanyl. If convicted, he could face up to life in prison. Oh, well, that explains wow. why he was able to buy them all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still a good deed. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Not, let's not let what he did. He was doing <laughs> the right thing in that moment. In that moment, yes, he was. Before that, maybe after that, who knows, but hey, at least he was helping out the Girl Scouts. Right. Yeah. Do you, was it that picture, you think, that got him? That's what I was wondering. I wonder, oh, good point. you know, or if they had already built up a big case and it was just really bad timing. <laughs> or maybe he already yeah. knew, I'm going down, I gotta go out and do a good deed yeah. before sure. I... And now the Girl yeah, Scouts, good they the got judge. this money that they probably can't. They got oh, drug yeah. Money. Yeah, I can't yeah keep absolutely. It. Oh, sweet little Girl Scouts. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, next one. A hospice nurse in Michigan went above and beyond for a patient during a snowstorm. Huge snow drifts, blizzard-like conditions, oh and impassable roads. Can't even see anything here. They will stop most people, but not those who care for the most vulnerable. On Monday, Nancy Miller answered the call to help a hospice patient. She strapped into a pair of snowshoes and she made wow. the near half mile walk to the patient's home, much to the relief of the patient and her family. Now she has gotten the nickname Angel in Snowshoes. At the end of the day, Nurse Miller was very humble. She told reporters she was just doing her job. Oh, I mean, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. She clearly sees how important her job is and the difference she made to that family. Yeah. So that's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And just to see her strap on those, those shoes and make that trick yeah. you know, I'm sure it really helped out whoever the patient was yeah. so there are people right. every day who go above and beyond in some way or another mm -hmm. to help other people so yeah. I love when we can see them yes right. profile them. all right our third and final buzz story today a cat in Oregon that was put to sleep last month may go where no other deceased feline has ever gone before space Seriously, Steve Munt previously did work for NASA writing software for the Hubble Space Telescope. He adopted seven cats and one of them, Pikachu, had to be euthanized back in January, sadly. Well, he started thinking about space as a way to remember his beloved Pikachu and found Celestis Memorial Space Flights. For 5,000 bucks, the company will launch ashes into space on a satellite that can be tracked as it orbits Earth. Pikachu would be the first cat ever to make the journey. Munt has set up a GoFundMe page that's already raised about $1,000 bucks for Pikachu's send off to space. Very interesting. I mean, space clearly is something he is very well, passionate so that about. Makes sense. Sure. Like, yeah. I don't know if you or I would have any interest in, <laughs> yeah. you know, doing that. But for someone who that, yeah, that's their passion, then it kind of, it makes sense. Yeah, why not? Why not send your pet, loved one, whatever, up into space, you know, with the ashes? I mean, that's that's pretty cool. And only five five thousand dollars though, right? That's it. That's it. That's it. No big deal. Sunbeam's gonna get them there. Well, and then I said you can track us. You'd be like, I wonder where Pikachu <laughs> is today. <laughs> Up there. Hmm. All right. Oh. <laughs> Seth, thanks for joining us, buddy. Okay. All right. That is the buzz today.